Hey YouTube, it's Nick, and this video is going to be something that started off as just a simple haunted box opening and ended up being an extreme nightmare for myself and kind of for Dan. He doesn't really have much of an issue with ghostly things because he's very psychically damp. Like, he doesn't absorb a lot of, of what goes on, whereas I'm very spiritually open and uh, have more sense for these kind of things. Uh, and I attract things like this. This video is going to contain the box opening and footage of what happened afterwards. So what I'm going to do in this portion is I'm going to break down everything that happened and then insert the actual clips of everything. So I get home on Friday and I walk through the door and I instantly start feeling this awful stomach churning like something is off, something is wrong. I look down and there's the box. So I grab the box and I feel like there's this odd kind of stink to it. So I grab the box, I bring it upstairs, and the lighting in the hallway is still really off because that light burnt out as soon as I walked into the bedroom. I set up my, my equipment in here, I walked into the bedroom to grab the last light, came out and that light had burned out. I am honestly a little bit nervous today because I go for uh, very specific people um, to buy haunted mystery boxes from. And I went outside of my comfort zone and got a mystery box from somebody from England. And since I got home, I've had this kind of like nervous feeling. And I don't know if it's just because if it's just because it's a new mystery box and it's new haunted items for the house, or if it's because there's something in there that's just kind of freaking me out. Um, because that light burnt out as soon as I brought the box up. I was like, oh no, <laughs> something is really wrong. So I took out a candle that I had blessed from a family friend that is a Franciscan friar. His name is Brother David, and he is very dear to our family. He was there for us when my father passed away through everything, and he's been looking out after us ever since. And this was something that was very important that I lit. So I pulled out my candle, lit my candle. It was a little votive candle. Um, but these were blessed from a family friend who is a Franciscan friar, <laughs> a brother. So I am lighting one of these suckers up before I even touch this box. I am going to place that directly behind me. And then I open the box. This box seems a little worse for wear. It got kind of smooshed in transit. And I was tempted to wait for Dan before I opened this thing, but every other box I've been fine to open by myself. And as soon as I started opening, that feeling of dread got even worse, and I saw the first item, and it was a doll. And not just any doll, a negative entity doll. So I was like, great, this is gonna be a wonderful start. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, so if you watched my original haunted videos of the unboxing, there is one thing that I absolutely loathe and do not want in this house, and it's dolls. I love Supernatural. I love ghosts. Uh, I do not love dolls. <laughs> so please do not send me a doll. And the primary reason for that is um, if you guys are at all familiar with uh, paranormal entities or Supernatural books, if there is ever a demonic possession and there's an exorcism performed. The demon tends to hide out in dolls um, because it goes to the next thing that looks like that child 
or person. Um, so if there's a doll in the room, typically the Vatican collects all of the dolls if it's performed by the Vatican, um, simply because it, you don't want that to come back. <laughs> so I completely and utterly, if something claims that it's a haunted doll, I avoid it at all costs. And the first item is Bonnie, a negative doll. And I specifically asked the seller, I said, please don't send anything negative. I have children ghosts in the house and they do not respond well. Bonnie was posted to us by a family who resided in the coast of Spain. They are good friends of our local paranormal community. Bonnie was purchased by the family as a Halloween prop for Dios de los Muertos. They began to experience a lot of odd activity after Halloween had passed. The doll ended up in a spare bedroom. Spiders seemed to appear moments before the activity took place. The children would claim there was a foul smell coming from their bedroom at night and spiders would show up right before heavy wind or rain. The father in particular kept injuring himself when a spider would appear, cutting his finger, tripping over objects, bruises. The house felt very tense after the activity died down. The family had purchased several dolls and were unsure about which one was causing the activity. It was only by elimination that they found Bonnie was their culprit. One child of the families in particular refused to get into the spare bedroom to collect fresh towels where the doll resided. She would have to be physically forced in by, the, by their mother. The family has had quite a bad experience with Bonnie. It's very clear this spirit is a negative spirit. We have managed to receive some information via spirit box and Ouija board. Ouija board from Bonnie, but she didn't give many detail. Bonnie, Jennifer, lungs, glass, puncture, collide, bright, lights, spiders, 1919. We can confirm that spiders are definitely one of the key warning signs. Our bathroom has seen quite a few despite having cats. These spiders seem to appear from nowhere. Keep a diary of them. Our activity has always seemed to be quite harmful to the individual who sees the spiders. I've tripped over objects numerous times, burnt my hand on the kettle, odd little niggles here or there. Watch out with this spirit. We are unsure what her intention is. We keep her in the attic in a, at the moment in a silt circle. And I start reading and further and further I get in, it gets worse and worse and I see the, uh, the, the similarities. It talked about a foul odor, it talked about the lights going out, it talked about bad misfortune, stuff like that. And it really kind of freaked me out. I asked for one specific thing. I really don't even want to take this out. There she is. And there she goes. No. Okay. Just let's move on. Do you see that? I guess it hasn't focused. There is like a hair that was wrapped around this key. A key! Haunted key. Annie, entity name, 1900 era prediction. This item was collected from a seance event in Edinburgh, Scotland back in 2002. This object is of the late Victorian era. These keys were collected by local mediums who picked up on energies that were connected to these objects. This particular key hosts an elderly female energy. She is not a friendly entity who enjoys the company of younger women. Annie has been a bit troublesome since being here in her home. Her spirit feels very negative towards other women. We feel she is quite jealous spirit and was likely the same in her previous life here in the physical world. I've noticed scratches, bruising, my negative thoughts about my, myself have increased quite a bit. I feel she has an awful influence on your mind and self-confidence. Please be aware of this. She's a nasty piece of work. Annie's spirit feels much older, possibly early 40s. We picked up on scents like bourbon and gin now and again. We feel she was an alcoholic who drowned herself in self-pity. She is spirit box active and has only given us the bare minimum. Annie, Annette, Pill, Bottles, Gloucester, Farm. And I've already read the next one and it's another negative energy. Like seriously, I asked, I said, please, no negative energy. You send me three items that are all negative. Okay, so it's a photo.
1940s to 1950s, negative energy beware. We have identified two entities which reside in this vessel. We have identified a younger male energy and an older female energy. However, we want to make note that the female energy does not feel like his mother or paternal re uh, relative. We have a darker theory that this female ent entity has possession over the young male. We have the following words spelled out, hide from Hermes. We feel the younger male energy is warning us that he is trapped with her spirit. Perhaps they passed at the same time. We may never fully know the answer. Use a Ouija board or a spirit box. I am so mad right now. So I finished opening the box. I went downstairs. I recorded a couple little clips here or there because I started hearing banging upstairs. Okay, so I know that the lighting is different and there's crap behind me, but I contacted the seller and I was like, look, I asked you, I know you can't cater to everybody. I know that you can't accommodate for too much. I said, but there is one thing that I asked and I said, just, I don't care if there's one negative entity because I can dispose of that, but like three. <laughs> so they said that they'd be willing to switch it out and give me another box with three positive entities. So I'm in talks with them to try and see what I can do. But like, oh my God. And there's been banging upstairs now. So. Like, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can hear it. Now, the issue with the banging is I can't tell if it was one of the new ghosts or if it was Curly just getting very upset because he's the one that runs up and down the halls and he's the most active spirit that we have. And I was nervous for him because the last time that we had a negative spirit, all of the children ghosts in the house got really afraid and the interaction was very uh, intense. <laughs> so. I'm freaking out even more. I call my friends and I start talking to them on the phone and I'm like, okay, what should I do? <laughs> Dan isn't gonna be home for another five hours. And even in the video I said, and I was tempted to wait for Dan before I opened this thing, but every other box I've been fine to open by myself. Maybe I should wait for Dan to come home. End up emailing the seller. The seller says, oh, we sent you this box in error. We're sorry. We know that you requested three positive things and no doll. We'll send something else to you. So we'll return the, you return the items that you have and we'll send you three new positive items. I was like, okay, that's not a bad deal. So I was like, all right. So when everything happened, I was really upset on Friday and I, had recorded everything and during the weekend I was supposed to do a spirit box session and I am absolutely not touching that thing until I get rid of the box of freaking I'm, I'm just gonna say cursed items at this point. So the initial plan was to film this video today which is a Friday and then have Dan and I sit up either tonight or tomorrow night and do a spirit box session with some of the new items as well as some of the old items. But now like I'm so hesitant to even try and do that with everything going on. Um, like the soonest that I can get this stuff out of here, the better. Like I said before, I've only had one other negative experience and it was really bad. I can still hear the banging. Like, I am a very passive, calm person. I don't, I don't get nervous or afraid, but I also have some sensitivity towards the paranormal. And this, I told you as soon as I grabbed that box and brought it upstairs, it was like something feels off about this box. And then the light went out and then it talked about how the lights go out with that freaking spider doll. And then now I'm hearing banging. And they never replied to me again until Monday. <laughs> and so I'm freaking out at home. And I realize, okay, my eyes are getting really dry right now. Uh, and I tell my friends on the phone, I'm like, okay, you guys are on the phone with me. I'm going upstairs. The candle is still lit. I'm freaking out and I don't want to be alone. So I go upstairs. I go to take my contacts out. I take my contacts out and I put them into the little tube thing and 
the toothpaste that's on the counter flies at me. And I'm like, what the hell? So I, I freak out. And my friends are on the phone with me. They freak out. I run downstairs and I just patiently wait for Dan to get home. I can't sleep. I can't do anything. So Dan gets home late from work. I tell him the full story of everything that happened. And he, like I said before, is very psychically damp. <laughs> and he comes upstairs and he's like, okay, I'll move the box. I'll put everything in the box and we'll put it somewhere safe. So we bring the box downstairs and I'm like, well, my biggest thing is let's get this thing with a salt circle around it. And that's even what the seller said, is that she had to keep the doll in her attic with a salt circle around it because it kept influencing and hurting her family. Like, why would anybody ever want that? <laughs> I spoke to Dan earlier and I told him about the whole situation. Um, and I went upstairs to take my contacts out and I had toothpaste launched at me. So we are over here now. <laughs> literally putting salt around the box until we can ship this out tomorrow. <laughs> so I go and we take the box, we put it onto a tray, we put circle of salt around the box, and things seem to be going better. I haven't had any nightmares or anything like that, but I did take... I have two rings that are... Um, they're haunted, but they're They've got good spirits attached to them, so I um, have been keeping those on my neck because they're supposed to be very protective and very good about protecting those that have more of a sense of things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I have kind of had just an interesting time. I tried to record yesterday and a door slammed in the house. I am in the guest room right now. I just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the stuff that's going on. So since the last recording that I did, a lot of stuff has calmed down. And I think the only reason for that is because I took the box with Dan, we put everything back in, brought it downstairs and put it around salt. So. It's currently sitting next to our front door, surrounded by salt, because I thought I was going... Okay. <laughs> our bedroom door just slammed. It's just been insane. <laughs> so... Today I wanted to record most of the rest of the video and just see what I can do in terms of editing and getting this ready for Wednesday, but it's been interesting. If you guys have any suggestions as to what to do with these items, please feel free to leave the comment down below, and if you guys have any stories that you'd like to share about this kind of stuff, please feel free to, again, comment down below and let me know. Um, Needless to say, I think I'm going to be sticking to sellers that I know from now on for any kind of haunted items that I get because you can't always rely on what people say that they're going to do when it comes to things like this. <laughs> so again, thank you guys for viewing, commenting, subscribing, sharing, watching all that jazz. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate how much you guys have been watching the new videos. It makes me feel really good and really confident. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a really awesome remainder of your week. I'll talk to you soon.